into the Recap Rush Hour for Thursday, May 9th. I'm David Kaplan. It's brought to you by the Chicagoland Chevy Dealers. They are the official truck partner of the Chicago Bears and Greater Midwest Exteriors. Quality and craftsmanship you can trust. Find them at gmechicago.com. Caleb Williams will take his first reps as Bears quarterback on Friday. Rookie mini camp. There'll be a number of players there. Large contingent of media. I'll have the latest on the rookie mini camp day one for you right here on Friday on the recap rush hour. How about this? Did you watch the Tom Brady roast over the weekend? If you haven't and you have Netflix, it works X rated, but I think you'll really get a lot of laughs out of it. Uh, Bill Belichick and Robert Kraft were front and center Sunday in what appeared to be a happy reunion during the live roast of Brady. But according to two former players who attended the roast, the former Patriots coach and the longtime team owner shared some very awkward moments off stage. I'll give you a couple. Edelman and Bledsoe, Julian Edelman, Drew Bledsoe, discussed a three-hour roast during their latest episode of Edelman's Games with Names podcast. They described the scene in the green room before the event. Quote, pre-show, we're in the green room. Were you in there, Edelman asked Bledsoe? Yes, I was. Bill's opening up, having fun. He's talking war stories, talking rookie skits, talking a lot of fun shit and doing shit that we know what Bill's all about. But it was like amplified because he was excited to see his guys in there and he doesn't have to coach them anymore. Edelman and Bledsoe said they were both in the green room with Belichick, Rob Gronkowski, Randy Moss when Bob Kraft walked in. Of course, he fired Belichick. Kraft walks in, Bill's holding court. As he's in the middle of the story, Kraft walks in and you guys all go over and say hi to Kraft. The tension in that room, though, could cut effing glass. Edelman said, I tried to give Bill a heads up when he saw Kraft walk in the green room, but that Bill didn't pick up on the cue. Kraft came in. I was like, oh, shit, there's going to be some fireworks. They did spend 10 minutes one-on-one -on -one and cleared the air a bit. But it was very tense and very, very real. Uh, other news, Phoenix Suns fired head coach Frank Vogel. Cubs have the day off, open a three-game set with the Pirates on Friday night in Pittsburgh. White Sox and Guardians tonight at guaranteed rate. Our four seasons, stat of the day. The Cubs 2.11 starter ERA since April 19th, best in all of baseball. And you want to win pizza at Lou Malnati's? Go try their limited time offering, the Mike's Hot Honey Pizza, available in deep dish or thin crust. Here's our Oasis Restoration question of the day. Who in Chicago sports would you like to see roasted? Give me one. Could be anyone alive that has had a role in Chicago sports. A lot of thoughts I'm thinking are people going to say Jerry Reinsdorf. But maybe it's Michael Jordan. Maybe it's somebody else. Let me hear them. Post it down below. The winner gets a dinner gift card to go to Lou Malnati's. And you can check out Oasis Restoration at oasisrestorationco.com. Have a great rest of your day. I will have the White Sox recap when that game goes final tonight. Take that.